Welcome to LegacyCast, your source for hearing from top influencers, industry experts, and successful business owners who are telling their unique story about life, values, goals, business strategies, and the various causes they are so passionate about. Future generations will come to be impacted by what is happening today, whether positive or negative, and our mission is to focus on what is going to affect change for the better. Hosted each weekday by James Snow, a former U.S. Army combat medic, now founder and principal advisor of James Advisors Group, a full-service financial planning firm in North Texas. This is Legacy Cast. Welcome, Legacy Cast listeners. This is your host, James Snow, and coming to you from North Texas here, um, finally got some cooler weather in this area, so that's certainly a blessing and, and good news. And yeah, on, on that note, I have a, a guest here coming from the wonderful state of California, where I think the weather is always wonderful and never have the, the 130 degrees that we've been having this year. Huh. So, you know, fortunately, you know, we, we're doing pretty good. Um, but my guest, uh, Maria or Marissa, I'm sorry, Marissa Kelly. Um, and she's, uh, she's in the social media world, which is really a great topic for us to talk about. And um, so without further ado, I'd like to welcome uh, Marissa to the program. Welcome, Marissa. Thank you, James. I'm happy to be here. Glad we can finally talk. <laughs> yeah, we've been kind of doing a, a hit and miss probably, but for a while, we've been yeah. chatting for forever and ever and ever, it seems like. Yeah. Uh, it seems like we're, we're old friends finally get to get to see each other face to face, so to speak. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, we'll be, oh, sure. It's a, certainly a pleasure and honor to have you here. I know you're taking some time out of your busy schedule, so I certainly yeah. appreciate that. <clears throat> but here with uh, with Legacy Cast, you know, as I like to always say, you know, we we talk about you know what people are doing today uh, in their lives to make a difference in the world, uh, because a legacy is more than just uh, a financial conversation. It's you know what are you doing educationally? What are you doing to to help uh, your neighbor? Uh, to help the community? Uh, all those different kinds of things. You know, it's, it's what are you doing to tell your story your way so that generations from now know that you lived, what you cared about, what you were passionate about, and what you did to make the world better. You know, that's, that's really what a legacy should be. And so that's partly why I'm, I'm excited to talk to Marissa about this because you know, her, her view of this is going to be pretty unique. You know, she, she kind of comes from a different world than I come from. So uh, <laughs> Marissa, when, when you're thinking about a legacy, uh, what does that mean to you personally? Um, to me, I think that uh, building a legacy is probably one of the most recent like revelations that I've had. Um, for about 12 years, I, um, I have been in the digital marketing space. So I've done website implementation, project management, product management, all that stuff un, you know, under the umbrella of digital marketing. And I've been helping a lot of people grow their business. Um, and while I love what I do, I, it's really able, I'm really able to, uh, find the uniqueness of someone's story and, and help them bring that out into the world, um, and help build other people's legacy. I realized recently that while I'm helping other people, I have not really focused on my own, um, Mm -hmm. my own legacy. And, you know, that was, recently you know maybe a couple months ago when i realized okay let me input all of this knowledge that i've gained working for myself and helping other people's businesses and all the tools that i put in place for other people and let me build my own because sure. i think that you know while i've done a lot of things behind the scenes i haven't really been at the forefront um and so it was important to me, not saying for ego purposes, I need to be in the front. I need to get all the spotlight, but I need to know that when I leave this world, I want to make sure that, like you said, that, that people know what I did and know what I was passionate about. So Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying right now to go, to go that route. And and I think that I'm on the right track um, Mm -hmm. just with everything I've learned and I'm working on, some new projects that will, um, you know, basically go along alongside my journey as a, as a solopreneur and working as an entrepreneur in the social media space, but also another venture. Uh, what that is yet, I don't know, uh, but I'm doing all the steps um, to, to get there. 
um, I think that that's the most exciting part because I, I know it's a journey and it's going to take a long time to get there. So, yeah, I, I like to look at, um, you know, legacy building as, as more of a lifestyle, uh, even than mm-hmm. you know, just an event. Yeah. It, it's, it's how we look at, you know, what we're doing and how we're doing it. And you're, you're touching on several really uh, important points there the, that I wanted to kind of touch on, uh, each, each uh, individually, because they, they are so important. Uh, you're, mm-hmm. you're first talking about, you know, just realizing, you know, the need for it. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, so many people uh, that I talk to, you know, they, they're, they're just kind of, you know, let me do, the, do my thing and, you know, I'll, I'll be good. And they're not really looking at uh, the bigger picture. And they don't, right. they don't necessarily see the value yet about you know, putting the legacy together. So, you know, I, I commend you for mm-hmm. you know, having that revelation. Because you know it is such an important thing that that people um, not not even just consider, but but being deliberate and intentional in what they're doing. Because you know, everything that we do today is going to make an impact tomorrow, and right. you know that's either going to make a good one or a bad one. And people mm-hmm. say, "Well, I'm not really into legacy planning," but you know, truth be told, <clears throat> mm-hmm. you know, you're you're creating a legacy whether you realize it or not. So you know, let's make right. it make it a good one. And so, you know, like I say, you know, kudos for, for actually putting that thought in there because, mm-hmm. you know, the things that we do, you know, are going to affect, you know, that story. And, right. and so it is, it is very important, I think, that, you know, we all you know, have within ourselves that conversation. And, mm-hmm. you know, you were talking about, you know, the different things that you have going. I mean, you're, you're also a podcaster. So, you know, I, I love that, that side of what you do. Uh, can you tell us a, a little bit uh, about the, the podcast that you do? Because, you know, sure. that, that kind of touches into really what your legacy is. You know, you were saying you haven't really thought about your own legacy, but all of these years you've actually been building it and just didn't realize it. So right. kind of yeah. tell, me about, See, tell me about your podcast for a sec. Yeah. So my podcast, um, it's called uh, By Coastal Panda. And um, the – by coastal part comes from the fact that I used to live in New York and I feel that that really like shaped who I was in terms of mm-hmm. um, getting, getting stuff done and uh, making sure that uh, things were always moving. I mean, it's a huge, if, if anyone's listening and has been there, they know that it could be overwhelming with everything that's going on there all the time and everyone's always mm-hmm. on the go. Um, but I think that's really helped me in terms of right now working for myself. Um, and then the panda part, um, pandas, I've always been fascinated by pandas. It's probably my favorite like animal, it's a mascot, whatever you want to call it. Um, but pandas um, are known to have a quiet determination and um, strength. And they always have like, apparently this is what they say, they have a positive outlook on life. So when I was um, doing some, actually was, started my podcast in late January under a different name and I did about uh, like six episodes and I kind of was bored with it. Like I was like, (laughs) this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I don't like, I liked the name for maybe like a month. And then I was like, Oh, I can't like, I don't like sharing it. It's not interesting to me. It's not me. It doesn't fit me. Um, And it was very marketing focused and, at the end of, you know, one or two episodes, people were like selling their deal and like pitching. And I was like, okay, that's not what I want. You know, like this is not another marketing podcast that, you know, there's very good ones out there. And, you know, I listen to them all the time, but I'm like, I'm not trying to be that. I need something else. Um, And so I, I just switched like on episode, I think eight or nine, I'm up to episode 33 now. And, um, it's been fun. I mean, I, I really just talk to people, um, talk to other business owners like yourself, Mm -hmm. James, I'll have to have you on, um, in, in the near future. Um, but really what are their struggles? What have they gone through? What, what have they learned? And just chatting with them. I mean, it really is. I wanted to do it to talk to people because, you know, if you're working from home, you don't really talk to a lot of people. You can get really, um, bogged down by all the the work tasks and not really realize that you're still human and you can still have a conversation with people. And so that was part of why I wanted to do the podcast and it's been serving that purpose so far. Um, And there's not a, it's not salesy, you know, and doesn't feel, that's not me. I'm not salesy. Right. So it's like, I don't, I I didn't want a podcast like that. So. 
that's that's by coastal panda and it's um it's a fun name and it's a cute little image and i love it you know so that's awesome <clears throat> yeah that's really that's really cool <clears throat> so um you know, kind of with, with what you were talking about earlier, uh, and then you know, also you know, with the, the podcast and then the, the other projects you have going on, mm-hmm. uh, how, how do your views on legacy uh, actually affect, you know, now that you've had the, the revelation you mentioned, how does it affect your plans for what you do in business uh, currently? Oh, well, um, I think that um, one of the things that I've, that I've come across um, in business in terms of building my legacy is um and i think this is something that uh a lot of people don't always know right away um Mm -hmm. and that is like being able to say no to working with someone because they don't fulfill you as a person um and they don't align with you in terms of their visions or their values um if someone and the, and then being able to set those boundaries from the first interaction and deciding whether or not you want to deal with, you know, something. I mean, I'll use an example. I, I had a conversation with someone recently, uh, maybe a couple months ago, about possibly working together on their social media strategy. Mm-hmm. And I, um, you know, I guess they wanted actual, like, tips and they wanted the strategy like on our first call. And I was like, I kind of felt a little, at first I I felt intimidated because I was like, okay, well that's what I get paid for. So I can't really give you the strategy until we have a contract or we have something there. But, um, you know, it turned out to be something where I chose not to work with them. I had, I had that call and I just had like, I, I use the hashtag in some of my personal conversations with other business owners and I use a hashtag red flag city. Like to me, that was red flag city already. They were sure. just show showcasing their, how they were going to treat our business relationship. And I knew that that was something that I didn't want to be part of my legacy and constantly, like you said earlier, when we were talking, like pushing a boulder up a hill, like this was something that it was going to start off on the bad bad foot and it wasn't something that I was interested in. And I think that's part of building my legacy and making sure that I align with people that are on the same page, respect me the same, respect my time, respect Mm -hmm. my views and, and my expertise. Um, And I think when we're in the business world, the traditional business world before like all this online, like tech and all that, like people kind of just, did whatever the CEO said or did whatever the customer said all the time, you know, and it, and it just backfired. You know, you had disgruntled employees or you had, you know, you stayed in a job that you didn't decide you didn't want to do, but it paid the bills. Right. But now we have so much more freedom to build our legacy and surround ourselves with people that align with us. And I think that that's one of the biggest things that I taken away in terms of working for myself. And, and I'm confident in it now, you know, versus a couple of years ago, probably not, you know, so. Yeah. And, and I love that, that particular lesson uh, that you, that you mm-hmm. had, because it's something, you know, especially when I'm, when I'm working with, you know, younger entrepreneurs is, mm-hmm. you know, talking to them about the fact that it is okay to say no, because yeah. you know, if you're doing business with someone that you should not be doing business with, yeah, not not only is that really going against your belief system and your values, which you know is you know is a paramount thing that you don't do that, but what ultimately ends up happening is if you proceed forward and try to do business with them later on, it's going to bite you. And you know, right. if it falls apart and you had a whole bunch of wasted time, you know, if mm-hmm. you know, at best case scenario and then worst case scenario, you end up having you know you know, you you lose you know you end up losing the money that you tried to make off of it, and so you start losing mm-hmm. money in the process. And, and right. so it, it's, it's like they say, you know, there, there's enough to go around. So right. and if we, we yeah. can focus on the people that are a good fit, you know, and it's okay to shake hands and part as friends and, you know, give mm-hmm. them a referral because then you're still doing something that's, that's adding to the legacy and it's adding value right. to, to that, right. you know, to that relationship. So, you know, I, I love that, that that's such a big deal with you. 